When I tell you to think about GTA 5, what do you think about? Maybe you think about the story mode, maybe playing with your friends, or maybe you remember trying to sell your business stock and getting it destroyed by some 12 year old on a Mark II. Is it coming back now? Listen, I want you to cover your eyes and clog your nose. See, if you've ever sold in a lobby solo, I don't care. You are part man. You could be the number one feminist and follow Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, goddamn Liam Neeson. But as long as you sold business supplies solo in a public lobby, you are a man. You got hair on your chest. You're better than Mike Tyson in his prime. I was doing a cargo source warehouse mission. And as I was delivering the car to the warehouse, I passed this guy and at first it looks like he doesn't care. But he just pops a Yui and starts chasing me. We make it to the city, but I totally miss the car sitting on the side of the street. Dream. And that he bought his brakes on Timu. He completely flies right by me. And I mean, look at this. This guy is just trying to kill me. He legit followed me across the map. I was so caught up in being chased that some guy off the radar is just waiting outside of my warehouse. Now it's time to lock in and fight on ground. I kill him the first time. And then this happens. Guys, no one said I was good at this game. This time, I decide to try and sell with public radar on again. But this time, I will have someone on a Mark II helping me. Somehow, I do manage to get back into the car. But it's no use that he's just back on the broomstick. The witch comes a little too close and we kill him. Or her. I don't know if witches are only females. But guess what? Not even one minute later and he's back that. on a Mark II. He lands on the roof and holds an angle on us. Oh, and yeah, this guy just randomly shows up as well. And as I was trying to collect my bearings, I get killed by a guy off radar. Getting it back in blood, I hit the ghost organization as well. And then look at this. And yeah, that was pretty much it. There's no way to recover that car in any way. You could hire a fortune teller from the rural Middle East and they would not even be able to get it back. Now, the people who drive these cars are not very smart. I want you to notice this guy. I pass him by taking this shortcut. And at first, you might not even think that this guy would ever be looking for me. A few moments later. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait! Thankfully, this guy can't drive, and I'm able to deliver no problem. Where this one time I was playing, in my lobby, I had two level 8,000s and a level 2,600. I checked the map, and what a shock, there's two of them on Mark II. Going deeper into the case, I find out that the supposed level 8,000 only has 520 gamer score. And in classic GTA tryhard fashion, he, I mean, they, it's 2024, we do not assume, they, of course, just had to have some profile picture like this. Only 11 days played in online, and a net worth of over two. 2.9 billion compared to my almost 50 days played and only making 500 million. Doing that math means that they, the tryhard, should have over 290 days played. And instead, they only have 11 days played. Weird. This next degenerate, which keep in mind his name, is also level 8,000 and has such a low KD, it's in the negative 2 billion. And then we have the last tryhard, which I never checked if it was actually a modded account. But I mean, come on. This is a barcode with a 2.36 KD. I come out with my Akula to kill them, but as I barrage this guy with missiles, his the vehicle gets destroyed, but somehow he just survives it. Obviously, with me not planning on him surviving, I give a horrible position and he gets a shot off on me. Worrying that he might still be trying to snipe me, I hide behind this building. No, but this solo brain cell decides to call out his Mark II. Now you might be thinking, oh, Xbox Grin, that was like totally the, the smarter thing to do. Just hop on the Mark II instead of continuing to try to snipe the, the off-radar cooler behind the Maze Bank building. No, it wasn't. I'm in an off-radar helicopter. If I knew he was going to instantly try to call out his Mark II, I would have just ran away. With my helicopter being outclassed by this witch, I'm forced to fall to my death, not letting him get up on me. As soon as I spawn in, I hit that ghost org in C4. Now, I do not know what I was doing here. The guy is near me, and I still decide to get into my limo. And in my fairness, I also thought that this limo had way more armor on it. Still in ghost org and fixing my thermal, and somehow this guy just finds me. Freaking out, I drop a proximity instead of a C4, but it's too late. He's in front of me. So I fight, and guess what will happen? A, I kill him. B, he kills me. C, both. D, well, if you chose D, you are right. He just somehow takes no damage. But the idiot ran over my proximity yeah, mine and lost his broomstick. Then he comes up and tases me. And then as soon as I get up, he hits me with a C4 and then starts to kick my dead body. Ooh. I just wanted to stomp on my Xbox. Went ahead and reported him and left the lobby to never see him again. And yeah, that was my rant on the GTA Online community. Like, subscribe, watch one of these two videos on the screen now. And they're listening. I'm out.